Yes guys, welcome down to the awesome Dubai Creek and look at that clubhouse in the background. I'm on the par three course today. All the holes are 60 to 100 yards with one hole about about 120. A couple of holes are over water as well. Now for me, this is the perfect practice session. This is by far the worst part of my game. So I wanna try and test myself to see if, how low I can go, see if I can go under par. Shooting over par, if I'm honest, would be a bit of a catastrophe, wouldn't it? I don't really expect to be missing the green from it outside of 60 yards, but it happens. This is definitely an area of the game where I say the tour pros don't even get quite as much recognition as they should do because it's, it's a hard part of the game, isn't it? We talk so much about how far they hit the ball. We never talk about how much they get up and down from inside of 100 yards to save par or to make birdie on that par five. We very rarely talk about that area of the game. So it's good to kind of shed a bit of light on the importance of this area. No? All right, first hole, 57 yards. I have been doing a bit of a warm up and practicing my yardages for about half an hour on the range. So I feel like I've got a bit of a feel. Let's see, shall we? So. Delighted to say, through one hole, we are one under. Okay, hole number two, 87 yards. I've got this 54 degree out again. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more one dimensional with my pitch. I'm gonna just try and use one club as much as I possibly can. So I get to start to get to grips with my distance control. Right, 87 yards. Flags at the front of the green. I'm gonna use my turn, use my posture. bit left of target. Distance wise, looks pretty good. Just pulled it a little bit. So I'm trying to get wider on my swing now. So I'm trying to get the, the arms wider and just use the body, use the hips and the shoulders and start to come through the shot. Too often, I think we all fall for this one is because it's such a short swing, we forget to turn. So we end up just kind of using the, the wrist or maybe even bending the elbow to an extreme, but almost getting a little bit too kind of wristy on the way through. So I'm trying to isolate my hands a little bit more and just use my bigger muscles to give me more consistency in strike and distance control. Okay, technically you could say I've missed the green and you would be right. However, I did pitch here. I'm gonna repair that in a second. Slope just kind of goes down the hill off to the right hand side. So obviously didn't know the green. That's my excuse. Slight pull off the tee. Not bad, not bad distance. Tricky little putt though, up the hill left to right. So again, if I've not put the wedge play into a position that's gonna make me a birdie, I've got to at least make it a comfortable-ish par, but this is not an easy putt. Ooh, a bit racy. Yeah. That's a bit of a scare. Just been playing around with the Capto Golf putting as well, which is incredible. Gives you all the stats. Gonna do a video on that very, very soon. If you're familiar with Sam Putt Lab, where it gives you stats of line and pace and stroke, this does exactly the same, but it's more portable. So you can take it out on the greens. And what was interesting is you can compare it, your stroke from an uphill or a downhill putt or a left to right putt compared to a right to left putt. And let me tell you, your stroke changes massively compared to a left to right downhill putt, comparing it to an uphill right to left putt. It's incredible the difference that it actually makes. And a video is coming very soon on that. And what you will notice, I'm basically gonna try and get that clubhouse in the background at every occasion, because it looks incredible doesn't it? All right, exactly 60 yards to go from here. Birdie chance, very similar to the first hole. Gotta try and give it the same sort of technique. Nice strike onto the first, that low punchy one. Keep that width in the back swing. Pretty good, pretty good. If you've got access to any of these sort of facilities at your local golf club or nearby, definitely go and utilize them because it does make a massive difference to your game. It can really get, kind of help you feel with the touches in and around the green, even the short wedges, just by being better at 60, 70 yards as well. I'm, I'm looking at this today from a very mechanical perspective in terms of my technique on the, on the actual shots, trying to gauge my distances and trying to keep a similar technique throughout the whole throughout all, all the yardages really and just trying to use one club as I mentioned before so it's a great way to practice probably the best way to practice ok 
Okay, fourth hole. So, 78 yards, very similar to the second hole that I played. I feel like distance, it should be okay. I'm just gonna make sure I keep that width in the back swing. Really make sure you get a good posture. Don't get lazy on the posture as well. These short shots, very easy to get lazy. A bit pushy. A bit long. Ooh, not that, not that great. Bit of a block out towards the right hand side. I felt like I actually got to the top here. I feel like I just dropped it on the inside and just pushed it. Pretty poor shot. And in terms of distance, it's probably about five or six yards too far as well. So I missed the green. <laughs> and it didn't even touch the green to start with. Not ideal. All right, so green missed, not ideal. From that perspective of the camera, I'm going to show you how much of a slope we're on here as well. Had I landed it on the green, we'd have got a bit of spin back down to the flag and hopefully left it under the hole. But this time now, big right to left there. Not easy, trying to gather the pace of this, coming out the fringe and then into the kind of very, very fast downhill green. Scary one. Did say it was going to be tricky. That was tricky. Ah. Oh, yeah. What's quite interesting there is I didn't have very far to go. It was a bad shot off the tee, missed the green ever so slightly, but the severity of the next pull really made that bogey as well. Obviously the, the shot, the tee shot wasn't amazing, but the severity of the putt made it into a bogey. I was outside of 30 feet. I had a huge right to left downhill fringe into green. So really poor place to leave my tee shot led to bogey. And that's from 80 yards. That's how easy it is to do. And obviously even get worse. All right, 56 yards into this hole over water. And that makes it quite tricky. It gives you something to certainly think about as well. If you do hit a bad shot, comment below how many people are duffing it into this drink. I don't want to be a person that has to comment on this. So I'm really hoping I don't have to comment on my own video. Okay, so I've got my 56 degree out. I've hit this yardage already twice today. I've played it quite nicely. The psychological thing of the got the water being there is always going to be in your mind. So you've just got to stick to your routine, stick to your technique and trust it. Right, you're good. Just ever so slightly over hit it. I have a downhill foot, it was all over the flag, probably about 10 to 15 foot past. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on my social media platforms. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the link, LinkedIn, you know, the standard stuff. So, I'm going to call this vlog to an end there. There's probably five or six groups over the next four holes or so. A lot of beginner golfers, but amazing to see beginner golfers out here playing, getting themselves on the golf course, getting some learning experience on the golf course, because I feel like that's the best way to start playing. Get yourself out on the short holes. Don't be overwhelmed by the kind of the big, long 400 yard par fours. Get yourself out into 50, 60 yarders. Enjoy, get the love for the game that way, and then start to progress. So it's great to see so many beginner golfers out there. I'm going to call it a day there pretty good i feel like 50 60 yards was quite solid 80 yards not great was it so that's something i've got to go work better with and go and work on on the driving range that's something i'm definitely going to be doing as well but guys thank you very much for watching see you in a bit